Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today we are going to be going through the top 10 best under 18s to buy in FIFA 14. Now the last one of these I did was about just players in general, or they happen to be youngsters. Um, but for that one there were different variables, it wasn't just based on potential, it was based on contract length, their position, how fun they'd be to play with and how expensive it would be to buy them as well as potential. But this chart is all about potential, so these are literally the top 10 under 18s in terms of potential. So number one has the highest potential. That was an unnecessary explanation. But yeah, this went down well last year, so I thought I'd resurrect it. And um, yeah, I'm hoping you'll enjoy it. I'm hoping you can find some absolute hidden gems on FIFA 14. So first up at number 10, we have the very pacey striker from FC Groning and Rosario Zivkovic. He's got between, I think, is that 81 and 85 acceleration. He's going to be a very quick player when he develops. His potential is actually 81, so that's a very decent uh, potential for a young player to have. Otherwise, he hasn't got amazing stats bar uh, acceleration speed and agility, but he has got four-star weak foot, which is uh, fairly useful in the, in the circumstances. High attacking work rate, he's only 16, he's from the Netherlands, and got four-star weak foot and two-star skill. He's at number nine, we have the incredibly good-looking Neil Mulpe, and not in a good-looking way, as in facially, I mean as in stat-wise. Look at that, acceleration, 86 to 90, sprint speed, agility and balance, all absolutely ridiculous for a 16-year-old. He's got good ball control and dribbling as well. It looks as if he should have an incredible stat, but actually I think he's only 62 when the game first starts. He's also versatile as he can play as a right winger or a striker. He's got high attacking work rate and three-star weak for three-star skill moves. He's French and he's 16 years old and he plays for OGC Means. Now at number eight, we've got... Manchester City's attacking midfielder Marco Lopez, again another player with great acceleration, sprint speed, agility and balance. He's a midfielder though this time instead of, just, instead of a striker, I can't get my words out today, or in fact ever actually, that's a, that's a recurring theme, but he's Portuguese. And um, this guy, right, he's got four star skills, which is great for a 17 year old, and three star weak foot, but he's someone who Manchester City don't seem to rate uh, in terms of playing him at, at all, so he might be someone who's quite easy to get. Now next up we've got Jonathan Tarr, number 7. He's a centre-back from Hamburg with incredible strength. No, no acceleration at all. No, nothing. Just nothing at all. He's got decent sprint speed and okay jumping. Uh, but he does actually develop into a player with 83 potential. Now, just to clarify, I'll put all the potentials in the description for you as well. Uh, he's 17. Uh, by the by, he's German, he can play as a centre-back or a right-back with medium attacking and defensive work rate. At number six, another centre-back this time, Roma's Tim Jedvaj, the Croatian. I've had him in a career mode video before, I think I had a look at signing him or, um, or put him on a shortlist or something. He's got actually decent speed, acceleration, jumping, strength, stamina, actually decent agility actually for a centre-back. Aggression, interception, he's just all-round very good, good marking, slide tackle and stand tackle. He's got high defensive work rate, he's very versatile, he can play as a centre-back, centre-defensive mid. Or a right back, he's Croatian, he's 17, he's got three star weak but two star skill moves. And now at number five, it's our old friend Levin Urztanali from last year's under 18s video. And he has got the stats he deserves, I think he think deserves even. I think he only starts off at 60, he's actually got the potential to get to 84 stat. He's at number five, he plays for Bayer Leverkusen, he's a centre defensive mid, and he's got really average stats. Looking at him, you wouldn't expect him to get any better than mid 70 stats. But he does, he can play as a defensive mid or a centre mid, he's got 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. And his strengths probably are actually sprint speed weirdly for a defensive midfielder. Now at number 4, someone with the same potential as Levin Ernst get to get to 84. He's got good acceleration, sprint speed and agility. It is Gabriel, another centre forward who plays for Santos as well as Victor Andrade now. So they've got a lot of youth prospects coming up. He's good at penalties actually and long shots and shot power. So I can see him developing into quite... An all-round striker jumping is actually okay as well, 68, and by the time he's got older than 16, which is what he is now, I think his jumping will be pretty decent. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, high attacking work rate, and can play as a centre forward or a striker. He's Brazilian now. At number three, we've got Siva Shrivers, FC Genk striker, another striker, would you believe it? Good acceleration agility, jumping as well, so he'll be a bit of a monster in the air by the time he's older. He is 16 as well, I do believe. And uh, okay finishing, not maybe what you would expect, but he is still a bronze, I do believe, so you wouldn't really, in terms of ultimate team, so you wouldn't really expect it to be fantastic so far. He's actually 17, sorry, he's from Belgium, so another player from the Belgium golden generation. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, medium attacking and defensive work rate, and he is a very good player with potential of 85. Number two, Anthony Martial, the Monaco striker. Great acceleration, sprint speed, agility, balance, as again, yet again, another striker on the shortlist. 
Would you believe it? But this guy has potential to get 87 stat, which is monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. Recently did sign for Monaco from, I think, Lyon. I think, for, from, for 4.5 million. So you won't be able to get him in the first season, I don't think. He's got high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, not very versatile. 17, French, four-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. But at number one, I think you all saw this coming. It's Zachariah Backley. PSV Eindhoven's right winger. I didn't really want it to be too obvious, but I had to if I was going to stick to the stick to the rules. Really, already a dribbler, already has that speciality. The 17-year-old, ridiculous acceleration, sprint speed, agility, balance. 94 is ridiculous. Ball control, dribbling, finishing's pretty good. Long shots, curb. This guy's just a beast on Ultimate Team. A silver star, right winger or a left winger. So there's some versatility. He's Belgian, would you believe it? 17. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, high attacking work rate. The guy's just perfect. The guy's got everything you need for a winger. You could probably, you could probably play him as a striker in fairness as well. He's just got everything about him, to be fair. But, theory me, I'm hoping you've enjoyed this chart. I'm hoping you'll find some hidden gems on FIFA 14. Zachariah Backley, by far the greatest of the players. Under 18, he's got a potential of 90, and just everything about him is awesome. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Comment about enjoying it if you enjoyed it that much. It has been a pleasure ranting with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and goodbye. Right, this is going to be the race. I can absolutely, categorically guarantee this will be... Ah, oh, for crying out loud, this is... I give up. I actually give up.